Hello, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to take a quick look at a tool called Spry Tile. Now, this is an add-on available for Blender, which basically brings uh, tile map style graphics into the third dimension. So you can basically take your 2D tile map and make a 3D map out of it. Don't worry, I'll show you exactly how that works in a second. Now, this guy's available. It's inspired by a, uh, another add-on called Crocotile, which I'm completely unfamiliar with. So if you've got experience with Crocotile, this probably will look immediately familiar. Uh, it's available at a name your own price point, um, which can include free. Uh, there's also source code available on GitHub for it. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in. First thing you're going to have to do is download the zip file attached right here. And now let's fire up Blender. All right, so now we're in Blender. Uh, we're going to need to enable the extension. So user preferences, come on in, uh, go to add-ons, select install from file, and navigate to the zip file you just chose and install it there. I've already actually done that. So my next step is to go into user preferences, add-ons, and enable it. So just come up here and type spry and click the checkbox next to it like so. And that's it, it is now enabled. And now you need to have an object to work with. Conveniently, we already have the default cube, so let's go with it. First, I'm just gonna go into edit mode and delete all the vertices. So we basically have an empty 3D object in Blender. Go out of edit mode, and now you'll see over here, there's a tile for spry tile. So we gotta do a little bit of setup. We gotta set up our, um, our tile map image that we're gonna paint with. Um, so first things first, we're gonna set our material to shade list by clicking that button there. And then go over here and locate your texture, kill the default texture by clicking the X right here and create a new one. And then open up the, um, the tile map that you're gonna be using today. So you see, I just went ahead and opened mine up. That is simply this guy right here. So that's the set of tiles I'm gonna paint with today. Head on back in here. All right, so now that we're set that up, we just click set up pixel texture and we are good to go. So now when we go back into edit mode, you will see we have a slightly different set of options. We've got set normal, paint, and build. And what we wanna work with is build. So if I switch, click build to turn it on, you'll see we have this nice little grid down here of tiles. Now I wanna switch it from uh, the default size to 64 by 64. This just happens to match the dimensions of my actual tiles. And now we can go ahead and paint them. So now you notice as I rotate the camera, the auto axis changes here. So this is the axis you're gonna paint along. Like so, and what we're gonna do, we'll paint a ground first. So we'll do a top down, so I'll switch to top view. And it's in Z mode, so it's gonna paint this from above. And you just pick your tile. Um, oh, these are really ground tiles, but oh well. And this is where you would draw your grass or whatever. Pretend that's grass. And you simply just paint out the tiles. Pretty cool stuff. So now we switch into, um, you know, to do a little bit of detail. So you see now we've switched over auto merge and now we're gonna do a wall. Um, so here, let's do a window first. So as you're drawing over, you're gonna to wanna to know where you're gonna position the actual uh, tile. Your easiest way is to hold down the S key and you'll notice the pivot point keeps snapping to the different locations. This is gonna determine where it's gonna draw. So there it draws relative to that corner. Very handy for fine tune. Oops, I drew one down below. Um, fine-tuning exactly where it will be positioned. And you can basically just keep switching them up. So now if we wanted this brick wall instead, I go here, go here, we rotate our map a little bit, probably need to, to snap again. And snap again. Oops, that just drew down below. Your biggest fight is gonna be snapping, for sure. Uh, but you just basically just keep coming through and draw your tiles on your different layers. like so. And you're just creating a standard 3D map. Now, if you want to go ahead and change a tile, you can instead switch to paint mode, select out a different tile, and just draw over the shape that you are in. Now, that is not what I selected. I think that might be this tile density needs to be set to 64. Nope. Okay, and you'll find every once in a while it does screw things up. It goes crazy or there's an exception that occurs and things crash. It is going to happen. And if that does, just look down here and just do a reset sprite tile. And then that will give you your tiles back. Things should work again. It should fix the particular area you're having trouble with, etc. 
And that is essentially it. Now you'll notice I did make a bit of a oops here. Um, that was one that was drawn out of order, uh, out of position to what I wanted. Now one thing you'll notice here though is when we're in edit mode here, and we just do uh, here click build again to turn it off. So now I should be able to come down here, control tab, face mode, grab that guy and just delete it. So you're still just dealing with vertices, edges, and faces. And at the same time, I can go ahead and actually modify one of these guys. Uh, so let's say grab the edge, like so. So you're still dealing with uh, normal uh, polygonal meshes. There's nothing really magic going on behind the scenes. It's just basically a, create, a quick setup tool for you for working with 3D style tile maps. It's a very straightforward tool. It's a very cool tool. Do get used to using the S key to auto reorientate the uh, position. And if you go back to the um, the page we were at, there is actually a tutorial available, a quick start tutorial. And this will run through what you need to know to get working. Uh, but it is pretty straightforward. It allows you to do some pretty cool stuff on painting that we haven't touched on. Uh, auto scaling and such of your texture over the course of an image. Um, but if you're trying to create that um, 2D tab map look in 3D, this may be one of your best choices. And the, the fact is, it's free to whatever you want to pay. Uh, so it's a very reasonably priced tool. Uh, again, it is a little crashy at times, so do be sure to remember that you can do a reset here, and generally that fixes everything. And then when you're done, let's see if I've got a camera in the scene. Ta-da! You have a very, very quickly created um, tile map in three dimensions. It's very cool stuff. Uh, something I recommend you check out if this is of interest to you. And I hope you enjoyed that. Again, the links will be down in the comments down below. Uh, that's it for now. See you all later. Goodbye.